Hey, what's going on? Hey, you got Mr. Law Jones uh, coming here with you with a brand new video. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. I hope all is well with you all. Um, keeping safe out here, all that good stuff. Um, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and take a second to click like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So today, I'm working on this uh, 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 pickup. Um, so uh, not really doing any heavy work. I've done some heavy work to it over the summer. Um, There's just an old old shop truck or whatever. Uh, need some paint on it. You know, paint is just, you know, paint faded and everything else. Need some, you know, like I said, uh, the motor had blew out in it over the summer. Uh, through a rot. I was able to find a very low mileage motor and stuck it in here. It runs real good. So just in the process of getting things tidied up with it. Um, these trucks right here, these are a very, very big seller for Dodge. Uh, when Dodge redesigned the Rams, uh, this is considered a second generation Ram truck. This body style came out in 94. Um, this truck here was, was touted very heavily for its big rig look on here. So uh, a lot of people, these trucks here, when he came out with these trucks here, these trucks are very, very popular. Um, they, was, they used to talk about how this truck kind of looked like a big rig look. You know, a lot of people thought it looked like a baby Kenworth, a Kenworth uh, semi truck. Uh, the old T series, you know, so um, T six hundred is all that is such. So, um, like I said, these trucks here, Dodge was selling about four hundred thousand of these trucks a year. And this is this this truck right here. In my own opinion, I feel that this truck here put Dodge on the map in, in terms of pickup truck and sales and such. So, when they redesigned this truck here, man, these trucks was everywhere. Um, you still see them on the road today. Uh, they do last a long time. But, you know, like I said, just like these Dodgers last a long time, Fords do, and Chevys, they, it does as well. Um, they had their quirks. And, like, this truck here, like in 98, they did some heavy changes on it. Um, like, for example, um, they changed the mirrors on these trucks here. Like, 94 to 97 had the silver chrome mirrors on here. Um, this is the first truck that had, like, the, um, you know, quad cab door system on here. So, uh. You had that on here. Let's see if I can get it open. It's kind of tricky to get these open on here. But um, this door actually opens up on here. Uh, they changed the interior real heavy on here. Uh, the interior was changed on them. And of course, you know, and they did some other stuff too. But uh, one of the things about these 90s trucks right here. Um, this truck here, actually, they stopped making this truck. The 1500 uh, configuration in 2001. And then the three-quarter ton, 2,500 and 3,500 being a one-ton truck, they went a year later to 2002. And then in 02 in the 1500s, they went to a totally different body style. Had this, then went to the new third generation. Um, very tough truck. I see them everywhere. But like I said, this truck has its quirks too. Has its issues. One of the issues that this truck has, um, you know, like I said, if you know like a older 90s Chevy pickup, even some of the fours too, is this here, crack dash. So uh, you see it right here, it look like a map that's broke up in here. But uh, today, you know, so like I said, bezel broke, that's broke and everything else. Uh, like I said, pieces dash everywhere. Um, this truck here, um, like I said, had a radio in it one time, but uh, unfortunately, like I said, somebody took it out. But today, we're going to replace that. I'm going to put some sounds back in this truck. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to put a new dash cover on it. And uh, that's what this video is about. So, we're going to go ahead and replace that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put a brand new dash can uh, cover on it. So, if you see it right here, that box is very big. It's a really big box on here. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I had already kind of like pre-opened it. I just haven't took it out all the way out to look at it. So I'm doing the longest. So I'm pulling out just so you're seeing it for the first time, just like I am. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set this phone down real quick. And uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back. So um, yeah, I just had to kind of get this, this uh, dashboard cover out the box because this box is very long. It's really big. Um, these This cover kit... It has like two pieces in it, so it actually has a one, so it actually has a piece to re replace the bezel. Um, these are kind of really known for cracking as well, too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out the plastic so you can kind of take a look at it. Um, just kind of showing what you got, what's you know, what comes in here. So it's, it's really wrapped up really well. 
uh, really high integrated plastic, excuse me. Um, you know, kind of moving around everywhere. So yeah, this is the brand new bezel right here. I know it's probably, like I said, it might be too much sun. You may or may not can see it that well, but uh, like I said, I'll show it to you as I get inside the truck with it. So um, one of the things about this, uh, this cover here is actually just goes over the existing bezel because since it's known for cracking as well too, so you actually put this over on top of the uh, original factory bezel. So that's this, so that's the bezel cover right here. So we sit that down and as you see right here, it comes with the uh, instructions. So uh, come. Okay, so yeah, it comes with the instructions right here, as you see right here. So it had just like a little basic, um, basic instruction installation guide that comes with. Um, comes with uh, a couple tubes of silicone right here. So it give you just enough, give you more than enough to really do the job. So uh, got two tubes of that. And uh, so like I said, if you have a friend right here, I guess if you know anybody who needs this here, uh, does have like a buddy discount, they can save up like $10. So, um, but anyway, this is the kit right here. So I'm gonna sit this over here, put those instructions in my back pocket because I'm gonna need those. Not really, I don't really need them, but uh, it's always good to, you know, always good to uh, have them because every install is different. So, um, you go ahead and get this out of here. Get the plastic off real quick. Let me put my phone down. Okay, all right, so got the plastic off of it, off the cover. Okay, so this way it looked like here. And uh, so, like I said, this just goes over your existing dashboard into your truck. So this is not a direct replacement because, of course, you see it doesn't have a shell. And um, like we're installing these here, uh, one of the things, this is like my third or fourth time using this dash cam product right here. Uh, one of the things I did see, um, I probably just need to, you know, just like to pre, you know, put three holes in here just so it has holes in here in case you ever need to take the dash down to do like a heater core replacement or, you know, something like that. So that'll be here. So. Um, I got to test fit this up, mock it up, you know, do all that stuff, make sure it fits real good. And, uh, so like I said, I'm gonna show you how I do this and, uh, I'll be back with you. So one of the things that's uh, real important, um, when you put these dash, when you put using these, um, putting these dashboard covers into your vehicles, uh, one of the things that, you know, that's real important that the manufacturer asks for is that you test fit it, make sure that it fits well. Uh, make sure that you know it's not, you know make sure everything is in line. Um, like I said, you know as you see right here, this dash is totally like done. So um, they even said like if you can kind of save some of the pieces, you know try to like if you got big chunks of pieces, um, you know just save those if you can. You know wipe them, you know wipe them clean and all that stuff. Which I'm going to see if what I can save. I don't think it's not going to be much I can save on here, but um, like I said, I just you know wheel silicone much as what I can to save it, and then because like I said, what all it does, you know this dash is cracked up in a million pieces. Um, you know, like when you put a cover on it, it does help out with like being a little bit more uh, structurally solid. You know, like I said again, you know you you know like I said, this cover is going to replace. You know, it's not going to replace a whole entire dash, but you know it won't have those cracks up there. And uh, one thing I like about the dash scan product, um, like I said, they do give out like a lifetime warranty, you know, against workmanship, you know, if it cracks before it's time or if it breaks or whatever, you know, they will replace it. Um, they got really good customer support. Uh, I never had to use anything for them. I mean, every time I called them for stuff, uh, they've always been able to answer questions or you know, anything like that. So I have nothing, you know, bad to say about them. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Get these chunks, uh, get these chunks together here. I'm gonna clean some of this up out of here. Wipe what I can wipe, and you know, try to put it together. And then, like I said, we'll go ahead and um, we'll put that new dash uh, cover up on there. So we'll lay that down, and that should be that. So, but um, anyway, um, stay tuned, and I'll be back with you. All right, back again. Okay, so I got this dash uh, cleaned up here. Uh, did some degreaser and uh, cleaned it up with some alcohol. Uh, 70 percent which is right here you can just pick that up at any dollar store or walgreens or you know whatever drugstore that you prefer um so yeah this is the result of using alcohol even though i used the greaser to clean it um let me show you just show you that it was still trapped with a lot of dirt and stuff here so it was really nasty um as you see right here here you go 
so you can see it right there this this was still you know still pretty dirty or whatever so um this bezel right here um i'm, I'm sure i'm probably going to get asked some questions about it though like why you just didn't go to the junkyard or, or pick and pull and pick one up so um actually i actually did that and um i found like 10 of these trucks at the junkyard and so they actually suffer the same fate and that's one of the things of like you know living in texas or you know say new mexico or just anywhere where it's just like hot and hot or humid um all the time so you know these these dashes and these bezels they crack up like crazy as i showed in the earlier part right here so i'm just going to do one more wipe and i'm gonna use some silicone to try to like you know just see where i can kind of tighten up just strengthen it up before i, I put this dashboard cover on this truck and uh, as you see it's a hot mess right here it's just disgusting but um so yeah like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and and that's that so um so yeah like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and you know like i said put that new put that bezel cover on this here on the, over the existing bezel and uh so like I said, i'm gonna do that real quick and uh i'll be right back with you all right back again so you got the dash prepped up of what i could prep of the factory dash and you see right here it's like a whole like huge like gaping hole uh man i've done quite a few of these dash covers here on uh you know some Chevys, and of course this here being a dodge and i've done a couple of dodges before and it was bad but this one here is probably by far about the worst um i mean there's so many pieces that's like broke up it looked like a like a literally a puzzle for real it's like really bad um you know probably gonna be the unfortunate part I may not be able to save all of these pieces here to try to build up a dash, you know, cause like what I wanted to do was, was try to save some of the pieces on here and just try to save it up, you know, just kind of add some more strength to this cover. Cause like I said, this cover here is not to replace a dash. It's just kind of feel like gaping hole over there. If you see, as you see over there, only thing that look like I'm going to be able to save maybe, um, is around that bezel. Uh, so like I said, I'll be able to save it. The pieces are a little bit bigger. So I'll be able to save it and be able to put the bezel on there. And like I said, I'm gonna throw that radio on, the, put this radio in here. And uh, like I said, I need to put a, I gotta put an antenna on here too. So still got a few more things I gotta do to it. And uh, like I said, that'd be a get rid of the old coat hanger out of here. So that way I can actually listen to the actual radio uh, in this truck. So, um, but other than that, that's really it. So yeah, this is a mess right here. This probably about one of the worst, uh, Worst dash replacements I've done so far. Man, this is bad. But uh anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you. Um, so yeah, I got this, I got the cover, I got it all cleaned up already underneath there, wiped down, uh, wiped down what I could of this here, degrees, you know, degrees what I could. And uh, like I said, I'm put some silicone on those little big areas over there where the bezel goes to. And uh I'm gonna put this down and uh throw some silicone on this here put this on and then that's gonna be it and then like i said that'll look like uh that gaping hole will not be there so but uh um, anyway uh, that's pretty much it for right now until i get this uh until i get this dashboard cover and uh like i said i lay down the uh, silicone on how that goes and then like i said do the install and then that's gonna be that so that's it all right I'll be back with you in a few all right so while I'm waiting for those some of those dash pieces to dry up around on the driver's side area where the bezel is going i just gotta just you know just readjust that little piece right there that's kind of look wopsided there um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and replace the antenna because uh somebody stole the antenna off i guess this was way before way before i got this way before this truck even came around so um take this off uh just held in with a retainer you just use like just some regular pliers and just twist it off that'll come off as such and then it has like a little retainer right here. I bought a brand new one of those. So got that and uh, re-replacing it. So get rid of this old ugly ass uh, hanger right here. So uh, we're gonna put, something, gonna put something real nice there. That'll look way better than that. So um, anyway, so I got this loose right now. And um, so if you see right here, just gonna go up under the fender, inside the fender right here. I'm gonna pull it out. It gets pulled out right here you can just leave that to the side and then like in the back uh, i don't know if you can see it or not but like right back in this corner um i gotta pop that out with a screwdriver so i just gotta pop the little area right there where you see that grommet right there i popped it out and then i pull the antenna out and then i just put the new one in there so um uh, this one here this is the new antenna that's going in here uh, this is a mopar uh, part right here i make sure i put this in the uh description below of the video 
And uh, so this is what I'm using right here. And it uh, looks like this is such. You know, like I said, this piece here, piece right here is gonna go, it's gonna go right there. You know, this in here goes where the, up in the fender. And then this piece here, this is a plug into the radio. So, um, like I said, so it's good to change it anyway because, like I said, gonna put in the radio, gonna put another radio in here anyway. And uh, so that way, that way she have no issue. So um, that's that. So let me grab a screwdriver real quick. I pop the grommet open as I'm showing you right back there. What's well, sun really bright out here? Sun setting and smishing on my camera angle today. There you go. So just gonna pop that loose. Get that antenna, get the old antenna out of there and put the new one in and that's gonna be that. So it should be a simple, um, simple fix, simple repair. But um, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, so got it loose. Uh, just got it out, I just had to just do like a little small tug and uh, pull the grommet out. So this is actually kind of like fixed into the antenna. And so also what I had to do uh, was, um, you know, just to get the antenna out, uh, I had to take down the, uh... oh, excuse me. Oh Jesus, uh, all this dust around here, sneezing all in the video and stuff, excuse me. Um, so yeah, what I had to do, um, I had to take down the uh, cup holder, which had been right here, um, but there was no cup holder there. It actually had been gone a long time ago, and I took down the glove box door, so that's right there, and uh, just had to remove this uh, kick panel, which is which is this piece right here, and uh, so I just moved that out the way, and then so now I'll just be able to pull this right on up out of here and put the new one in. So you just feed it through that grommet, and then you just run it down, kind of run it down through here. And then it go up under, goes, you know, you just run it, you know, run it out through that hole, come through, you run it down at the bottom a little bit, come back up, and then you're gonna run it through, and then you just hook it, then you just run it to where the radio will be at, and that's it. So that's the antenna. So um that is pretty much it in that part. So um I saw that was pretty simple. So um, like I said, I keep updating as um I start installing new stuff. All right, major correction. So back again. Um, so actually, I took this antenna off right here. So I found out that it actually detaches at this antenna here. So this the so this is the so this is the wire for the antenna uh, piece right here. So this is all you need to take off. And then the other part that goes to the radio, which is this here, uh, you don't have to take all this out. So actually, you can actually run that back up under the dash, uh, how it was mounted, and hook that back up to the radio. So uh, you won't have to get rid of this here. So um, it's just the front part. So yeah, it just disconnects as such. And um, that's it. So we're going to hook that back up. And uh should be back, uh, be back rolling again. So yeah, this is the piece right here. So yeah, this is it. So this piece here that has this um has piece right here. Let me get this all because we don't need it. That's all ate up and no good. So I'll put some more tape on it. Drop my phone, all this stuff. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just take this off here, put a new piece of uh tape around it. Um just some, you know, some weather tape I have, and uh I'll put this on and and then stick that back in there. So yeah, that's it. So I'm glad I saw that. So yeah, just clean this up out here real good. Look like it's pretty clean in there. And uh, I just run that new antenna and then that's it. So yeah, that saved a lot of time right there. So yep, so that's the major correction right there, folks. So um, let me go ahead and keep going forward. And um, I'll be back. All right, back again. So I uh, got that new antenna on there. That new, uh, new, new retainer that's right. Oh, what well, I'm talking about right here. Got a new uh, chrome ring for it, and that's the new antenna. So it's low profile. So um, this here should be a this should be definitely be an upgrade. So got that together. So um, I said got that dashboard somewhat together. So now I'm about to go ahead and uh, do a silicone on it. Silicone the new cover, so I can get ready to put the cover on, put the radio in, and then that'll be it. So that'll be it, and that's all. Uh, let's go back here. So this is the dash cover here. And uh, so actually on the on this pamphlet here, what's interesting is, uh, we am blowing out here, hold on. Let's sit that down. So what's interesting is it actually has a Dodge Ram um, in their pamphlet right here. And so since it's that same one, the same dash, 
which I'm working on. So I'll just kind of show how to like line, you know, how to put the silicone on. So I'm just going to kind of follow the same thing on it. Um, put it around here, around these four uh, defrost vents right here. One, two, three, and four. And uh, put around over here on the front. And uh, like I said, around the uh, around the, where the VIN where the VIN number would normally be at, just put some around there. And uh, that's it. I'm sticking on, and that's gonna be that. So it'll look like a brand new dash afterwards in the next few minutes. All right, be back in a minute. All right, back again. So uh, got the silicone laid down on here, uh, as the instructions say so. Got it around there. So this is the passenger side where the airbag is at. So I got, you know, got it there. All around the dash where it says to um, put silicone at. So just got a good amount on here. Didn't overdo it. You know, you definitely don't want to, you know, overkill on it. So uh, like I said, got some around those vents, like I had, you know, stated in the last part of the video. So uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and stick this on. And I put it on, I'm gonna get some phone books I'm gonna put there just to add some weight to it. And uh, that's gonna be it. So it'll look like a, look like a totally different vehicle and uh, there will be no more gaping holes. So um, that's that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it and I'll be back with you. Hey, what's going on out there? YouTube land, you got Mr. Law Jones signing on with you here this uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, back again just with the uh, final update video here um, just up here finishing up uh, got the uh, dashboard replacement here in the 2001 uh, Dodge Ram uh, 1500 shop truck so uh, got the new dashboard cover in it so I had to let it cure for like eight hours with the silicone and uh, so this is the result here of it I just need to throw the bezel on it uh, it was a lot of big chunks so that's what it looks like uh, with the cover on there so it definitely looks a way lot better than what it was um down here is a lot of the pieces of it so man it was like a puzzle literally so uh, a lot of big chunks that was lost i was trying to save them i know according to the um you know according to dash scan they kind of asked like if you can save some apart save it but man it was just so many pieces it was a lot of chunks that were missing from it i was unable to unfortunately uh not being able to save what i could so just had to put that cover on it only thing I need to do now, I just need to install a radio. Uh, I would have finished this uh, project up yesterday, but uh, like what happened, uh, I got ready to do the radio install. And so this is actually the right um, radio harness, um, radio install harness I needed right here, which is 70-1817. I'll make sure I put this in the um, description of the video. And the one I got sent to me was one for a Volkswagen. So that wasn't gonna work. So yeah, I just go ahead and install the install the radio in here. Put that in there. Take the old harness out. Do an install. Put this bezel right here up on there, and then uh, we'll be good to go. And then all I gotta do is get this, get this thing cleaned up, and uh, just get it along, get it along for a further long journey. So that's it. That's what I got going on right now. So I'm um, just updating everybody. But yeah, this turned out really good. I'm really happy how this turned out. You know, like I said, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like with these trucks back from like the you know late 90s and early 2000s these dashboards crack as such especially here in texas um you know as it gets so hot here in the summertime then you know we got like really hot heat it gets real humid so that's not no good either so um you know like in my honest opinion after working on these you know like so i've done quite a few of these cover installs you know on some chevys and and uh like so i did one on another dodge but it was on a newer one like um the body style like this one started in 02 and it went to like 2008 and it was cracked up pretty good but on this 90 on these uh these 94 these second gen rams from 94 to 01 and when they did the dash update in 98 and then took it out to 2001 this is this is by far the worst though i mean this is probably one of the worst installs i've seen but uh you see in the early part of the video but um anyway just uh just updating just uh showing them you know work in progress so what i've done so far and uh so i'm gonna go ahead and get some um connectors and I'll uh, get that radio installed and should be good to go. All right, I'll be back with you soon. All right, so this is the uh, final part of this video here. Um, got everything taken care of, buttoned up on this uh, 2001 Ram. Uh, got the dashboard cover in there and uh, got a new bezel in it. So uh, it definitely made, uh, definitely made a night and day difference with this here, um, with this truck. Because I mean, this dash was like really horrible. Uh, really was broken up and uh, so like I said got that got a new bezel on it 
Uh, you can put in a little a little radio in here just to have a little sound in it. Uh, could run Bluetooth with it. So uh, it's just a little little boss radio here, whatever. So um, like I said, just something just put some sound here. This is just a little shop work truck. Uh, nothing extravagant need to go in here. So, uh, but other than that, that's it. So it works. It's got a little noise in it. So that's all. Uh, ain't doing too much with it. So um, that's that. So um, everything is done. Everything completed. So this is it. That's all. So um, like I said, it's way better than what was way better than what was going on before with it. So anyway, um, like I said, to do this install, uh, it took no more than it took no more than about an hour to do the whole dashboard cover. Um, once you do this here, you do have to let the silicone cure for about eight hour, eight to ten hours. But it's best to let it cure overnight. So that way, it just get a good seal and everything else. So um, like I said, really happy with the outcome and how it came out with it. So this will work. Um, like I said, definitely an improvement. So, um, but other than that, that's it. So, like I said, um, I would have had this thing buttoned up last night, but um, the harness for the radio, um, the one I ordered and the one that came, uh, it was one for a Volkswagen. So I knew a Volkswagen harness wasn't working to a Mopar a Chrysler product. So I don't know what happened there, but it is what it is. But anyway, it's all taken care of. I'll button up. So, uh, Mr. Bob Jones, I'm going to go ahead and sign out for this uh, this evening here. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. But uh, if you got any comments or questions, anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. And uh, like I said, just make sure you click like, subscribe. Thank you again for the support. Y'all have a good evening. And uh, I'll be back with another video soon. Take it easy.